what's good welcome back to the channel guys in today's video gonna be chatting about the top attacks used in legends league and i went through the top 10 accounts currently in legends league just to see what was really being used obviously we had some super dragons there was five of the top 10 using super dragons we had one blizzard lalo we actually had four queen charge hybrid accounts which is just absolutely insane considering that's working this well in legends league just wanted to talk about this a little bit only because we have four days left in legends league so just trying to figure out what armies are working the best for these top pushers in legends league and the top four obviously one through four were all super dragons As we get into this first attack, we're just going to show some replays of the Inferno Dragon, Dragon Rider, Super Minion, Clone, Invisibility Bomb uh, that we've been using the last couple days. That I got from First Strike. A uh, pretty cool clan that uses these attacks. Uh, it makes it work. I mean, get a lot of triples in wars uh, using these attacks, so it's very fun to watch. But wanted to talk about the top accounts and what attacks they're using and obviously we have the super dragons and we have the four counts using queen charge hybrid which i am fascinated by because i guess a lot of these bases have switched you know trying to accommodate all the spam in the current meta and they're almost weaker against some queen charges and then i guess especially the hybrid because we're switching a lot of to single target infernos to pretty much defend against super dragons and single target infernos don't really do much against hybrid uh the multis are the ones that really can destroy hybrid so having a lot of singles allows some of these players to push very deep in legends league with it obviously four of the top 10 players currently in legends league are all using queen charge hybrid and i love seeing that because it's my favorite attack so i definitely want to copy uh, a similar army to what they're using and maybe change it a little bit to what more i'm comfortable using and possibly make a push next season with queen charge hybrid uh, it was by far the most used attack i used in town hall 13 and i would love to use it again in town hall 14 we were i was very excited to see the, the levels when the hogs and miners got levels but it didn't seem to really do much for us um i was hoping eventually for maybe a super miner or a super hog uh, and maybe that attack can make a comeback, but we will see. Uh, I definitely want to push next season using that attack, though, and see what we could do with it. Now, the other thing that I found fascinating about the top 10 is there was only one Lalo, and it was actually Blizzard Lalo. Um, last season, as far as I remember, there were quite a bit of Queen Charge Lalo in the top area of Legends League, but Super Dragons have just really... You know taking over the top spot in legends league for the for the best push army in my opinion i mean one two three and four are all super dragons so it's kind of hard to argue with the stats when they're right there for you to look at and the there was only one lalo and it was just blizzard lalo but i think in my personal opinion blizzard lalo is the most versatile for legends league so it doesn't surprise me that that accounts up there and it was actually stars so that doesn't surprise me at all either because uh, a lot of those guys on Queen Walker Stephanie are just absolutely insane with Blizzard Lalo and just Lalo in general. But it, it was just kind of surprising that we only had one account up there. And I saw, you know, so much Queen Charge hybrid, but not any Queen Charge Lalo or other Lalo accounts. Uh, I think the Queen Charge hybrid really just was the one that was the most surprising. And that's why I'm kind of excited to see that just because of how much I love that army and how it's pretty much my favorite army that I've ever used. And, you know, we may potentially use it again just to see, you know, can it be successful for lower end Legends players? I, I'm not a pro by any means. I do enjoy Clash of Clans a lot. Uh, I really enjoy making content, but I, I enjoy the casting side of it on Twitch more than I enjoy you know push you deep in legends league uh i love bringing you guys attack strategies especially spam because that's the easier ones and it's easier for me because i'm not like i said not a pro by any means just a just a guy trying to just get better and help everybody else get better at the game but i definitely enjoy queen charge hybrid so i would love to use that attack again and see if i could push deep in legends league 
but the super dragons being top you know one two three and four really makes you just want to use that because uh you know i know people will say well you got to attack a bunch of bases and do all this practice but at the end of the day you are dropping majority of your army right away and it's really just dependent on where your dragons go and that's something you just learn over time from doing all legends league attacks uh the the style or the reaction the dragons have depending on you know how close defenses are how close buildings are everything like that all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed the content as always appreciate you guys stopping in on an everyday basis and supporting the channel definitely was surprised again looking at the top 10 seeing that it was five super dragons well that wasn't really a surprise but four queen charge hybrid accounts and only one lalo and it was blizzard lalo um Definitely a little bit of a surprise to me, honestly. I was not expecting the Queen Charge hybrid when I got on there and looked at the end of this Legends League day, but definitely impressive to see that attack strategy up in the top 10, over 6,000 trophies. Just the style bases that are being ran in Legends League, I mean, they're pretty much weak against hybrid, and a lot of these players are, you know, taking advantage of that, and they are getting, uh, obviously, a lot of triples in Legends League because they're pushing up in the top 10 you know over 6,000 trophies if you guys like today's video smash that like button for me if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe to the channel turn on those notification bells so you know when these videos are coming we'll catch you next time